This is Chat the Great. Between kind of the blue tones and after that, and you're going into your solo stuff, you started to work and you work with Matt Berry, which is absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of Matt Berry. I think he's I think he's really funny. Um, how how did you guys meet? How did that come about? And how did you start kind of playing with him? It was um, a mutual friend of ours was doing a comedy sketch show that he was going to perform at the Edinburgh Festival. Yeah. Before he went up there, he was trying it out at this place in Highbury. I think it's called the Hens or something. It's a pub on the corner of the big roundabout in Highbury. Okay. And it's a theatre upstairs. So we, we, he's, we met there and I introduced myself and I was a big fan of Snuffbox at the time. Yeah. I loved it. Is there going you know, to be another series? And he's like, no, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay. but, but we sort of just got talking, sort of hit it off and then exchanged numbers. And at the time he was doing a radio show on Absolute Radio on Saturday yeah. nights. Yeah. And he, uh, he had like a guest drop out or something like that. And he said, can you come to the studio? at short notice and just like do a couple of songs and be interviewed and it's like bear in mind I'm going to be very abusive in the interview <laughs> oh, and it's like no that sounds like fun oh, yeah right. Bring it so on. I did that Whoa. and I did that a couple of times and we were just sort of started to hang out you know go for a drink after the show had finished and we had this idea to start this sort of folk duo uh, and we started to write some songs not together but next to each other he was writing his songs and I was writing my songs and we both sing them both yeah and um we did a, f a few gigs like that just little acoustic gigs up and down the country yeah but it didn't really go anywhere and the songs that he was writing ended up on kill the wolf and songs that i was writing ended up on flash of darkness <laughs> but it was good fun and it was just a good little adventure and then when he was um when, when we were on the road, I said, you know, if there's ever an opening comes up in the Maypoles for like, a rhythm guitarist, like, let me know, because I'd yeah. love to tour with that band, because I was a big fan. And, I, and they're such brilliant musicians. I just wanted to play with them, because I knew I'd, it'd be good for me. Yeah. And fun. And I wouldn't be the front person. I could just be... Exactly what I wanted to, to be honest, it's exactly what I wanted to ask you, Mark, because uh, I could never do that. How is it not to be the front person? Because I could never do that. I don't know, to be like a like a backing vocalist. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Okay. I really enjoyed it. No, it's, yeah, it's a different dynamic. You can, it's all the pressures on someone else and I can just enjoy the music and groove away. Yeah, I never <laughs> thought of that. Actually, it's a good point, to be honest. <laughs> but it's nice how you meet people as well and how you connect creatively, isn't it? It's just, I think, like, it's just so nice when you meet people quite organically like that and the relationship grows. Because I think if you can really click with someone, that's when the creativity can come out and you can kind of, start making things together yeah see if you can relax in each other's company and that's it but you've had look up which came out last year which by the way i love the artwork for that it's super cheeky <laughs> it's great it's who, do, who does it's it's, cheeky. yeah super cheeky, that's look, idea. It's yeah. cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> who designed the artwork for it a friend of mine uh, called chris deacon who um at the time he was living in los angeles he was um he's like a he does a he, he does all the layouts for magazines. He says the production designer for magazines. Or okay. Whatever it's called. Yeah. 